Pet Talk this morning. Did you know that Easter lilies could actually be very dangerous for your pet, and but they are beautiful to look at, especially but... for cats. Especially cats are yeah. very, very susceptible. It and it doesn't take much mm -hmm. biting, mm -hmm. biting one leaf, biting one petal, licking the the liquid that they've been sitting in, scratching the things, licking their their claws off. It kills their kidneys. Really? Of yeah, course, they're so curious, so that's even a larger right. danger. Right, and within usually within 36 to 72 hours, you're going to see vomiting. You're going to see, uh, you know, a lot of signs mm -hmm. stopping to eat, uh, depression. They need to see a vet immediately. They can die. I'm actually very surprised that even by drinking the water that they may have. Uh, I was been surprised in too, with. but I got I got an alert from University of California Davis Vet School, uh -huh. alerting us to this, and I wanted to make sure and share this with with everyone, and especially. Uh, there are the um, Easter lilies, the um, Asiatic lilies, those types seem to be the most dangerous. Calla lilies are not the same family. Those are not dangerous. So it's just the pets. So the there's, Easter there's lilies. Those that are, uh, belong to that particular group of lilies are very, very dangerous. And of course, that's, that's not the only plant. There are other plants as well. So really the ones that maybe you get at church because those are, right. those are the ones you need to be very cautious yes. of. Exactly. And I, and I was gifted with a lily this year, which is gorgeous, mm -hmm. just beautiful. They're beautiful it did flowers. not, you know, I brought it home from church. It stayed in my garage. And then my husband took it with him to work because, uh, you know, I just didn't want to risk it. Right. Um, the dogs also can get into that. They can also have problems. If your pet does get into the lilies, uh, dogs are easier. Make them vomit right away. The, the other types of plants, you need to check with your vet. Some of them are as dangerous coming up as going down, so you don't want to make them vomit. So you really need to check ASPCA um, poison control. They do have a list. And have by the list. way, the quick way to make your dog, if you do want to vomit, is hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen right. peroxide. Just plain that wouldn't hurt them? 3%. Uh, well, I guess it wouldn't hurt any more than the It's better to make them vomit, yeah. Cats, though, don't want to vomit very easily, no. so just get them to the vet right away. So we really don't know what it is about the plant, though. It's a chemical in there. Just that the chemical that It's a the chemical that produces. is in the plant that, that produces, that uh, can go to the kidneys and damage the kidneys. And every cat is an individual, so some, it makes violently ill and they die very quickly. Oh, Others, wow. if you get them help in time, you get them dialysis, uh -huh. it gets them, gives them a time for their kidneys to heal, and they can recover. Okay. from that. So it's not a death sentence, but, uh, and I did bring my, my first aid book because people can look in that. There's a list in there what you can do mm -hmm. uh, for the different kinds of plants. Also, the uh, I sent you information link, yes, to we'll put, put up, up on the website. Mm -hmm. yeah, so clearly presented, they mm -hmm. need we'll to get that. We'll put that up later this morning, mm -hmm. yeah. but you can buy this at any bookstore. Absolutely, right. and it gives a list of the toxic plants and what uh, is not so toxic, what you can do, what signs you are going mm -hmm. to see, those types of things, okay. uh, with, uh, and give them some quick treatment at home. These are the types of things where you don't have time to get to the vet, right. possibly. It's always best to get veterinary attention, always, always. Okay. Well, we also have these uh, little guys oh, at production. Yeah, this one just dogs. wants to be loved. This he really does. does. This wants one wants to, to get down and explore. This is an Italian greyhound. Love. They love, love horses. Gorgeous. Yeah. So if you have horses, they, yeah. this is a good... Oh, where are you going? He, wa he okay. wants to go play. Now, come here play. so the folks at home can see you. Come on. Come here. Now, what's his name? That's little Rojo. And how old is he? He's Hi. about two years old. Not two quite years old. two years old. So he's pretty Very sweet, trained. affectionate little animal. He is very sweet. He tried to come sit in my lap and mitigate. Yeah, yeah, he, he now, really did. We also have the Shih Tzus. These little sweet. We have two little Shih Tzus. This is Frankie with the blue eye. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Cupcake Reporto. And and this is Jack. And and we he started to wax his mustache, but <laughs> sort of ran out of time it. this morning. It's yeah, he's a little early. Can be that who much. he is. Yeah. Now, yeah. how old are these? These are, I, I don't know the ages of these dogs because they just came to us okay. under circumstances we don't really talk about, but we are going to have some nice little dogs that we're socializing and getting them all. These, these are ready to go. Aww, well they, they're, they're spayed, neutered, and ready to go. And as you see, these are doggies that are not really used to being handled except for the last 
maybe a week, and you see how gentle and okay. sweet and loving they are. Well, they all are up for adoption. If yes, you would like to, uh, if you would like to adopt them, just call Tommy at the uh, Red River <laughs> SBCA. There is the uh, web address and also her phone number. You know the rules, as always. Wait till she gets home. That's right. Uh, she has a way to travel, so give her at least a couple of hours. But all of them, like we said, are up for adoption, and I think these are probably they look like they're adults. Yes, they're they're mm -hmm. adults. So they're they're, they're all I would of these say between two and five years old. Okay. So all of them are between two and five. If you're looking for that perfect dog, these are definitely lovable animals. Thank you guys. We do appreciate okay. it. Okay. We'll be you. back in a moment. Stay with us.